concept of the helicopter can be traced all the way back to the 15th century to Leonardo da Vinci's original design. Today, helicopters are used in a wide variety of precision missions, including flying ambulances, rescuing people at sea, fighting wildfires, and transporting workers to offshore installations. They're the only aircraft type that can take off and land from very tight areas, transport people and goods over long distances, and hover in the air. Helicopters consume significant amounts of jet fuel, and that leads to high um, levels of greenhouse gas emissions. At this moment, the industry lacks any significant volumes or sufficient volumes of the sustainable aviation fuels. And therefore, we believe that the best way for decarbonization is actually the reduction of fuel consumption. There are many ways of achieving this. The first one is simply going for fresher, younger, better maintained aircraft. Second one is to select aircraft with the best environmental performance or emissions per passenger traveled. This is, for example, what our super medium aircraft uh, tend to do and hit the sweet spot. And the third way is to simply go for the most modern aircraft with the best overall performance. When we see a conflict between sustainability and profitability, it causes us to innovate. We call that the Omni Way. Through the Omni Way, we have found intersections of these two goals that reconcile very nicely for the benefits of our shareholders and our customers. The introduction of super medium um, aircraft type is a case in point. Uh, we were the first one in Latin America to use uh, this type of um, aircraft in offshore applications uh, due to their superior overall uh, performance. This is for me exactly where sustainability and financial incentives are very well aligned. The OHI group was founded in the 90s in Portugal on pillars of safety and customer centricity. Based on these two pillars, operations moved to Brazil in the early 2000s to support the growing energy industry. This naturally catalyzed the demand for the growth of helicopters in Brazil. And we were early beneficiaries of that growth and demand and use its helicopter operations DNA and capital to invest in a large network that today comprises 80 helicopters, 10 different aircraft types, and 12 bases in Brazil. This is how we became Latin America's largest air mobility provider, transporting over 5 million passengers since our startup. In 2024, we also launched Omni Unmanned. Omni Unmanned is our large UAV business, newer generation aircraft with a lower carbon footprint. This business today supports the energy industry, but we foresee its use cases to be applied to many different sectors over the years to come. Drones are a very exciting development uh, for offshore transportation. It opens up a host of new uh, missions that can be conducted cost-effectively. Marine uh, health monitoring, aerial emissions concentration measurements, or search and rescue operations. A sustainable innovation um, optimizes environmental aspect because less emissions, and financial aspect because drones are cheaper to fly. They can also be launched and, and uh, landed without the need of dedicated heliports. And this is why I say overall, um, drones have the potential to be a game changer in our segment. In modern mega cities, where unpredictable traffic impairs people's efficiency and quality of life, and self-protection is an important concern, Revo aims to be the safe, fast, and stress-free solution for intra-city and sub-regional transport. São Paulo was chosen for Revo's first city because it's the powerhouse of Brazil and the biggest helicopter market city in the world. In 2023, Revo was launched and created an app that allowed clients to book a seat on a helicopter quickly 
choosing between many options of pre-schedule hours. Since the beginning of Revo, sustainability is an important pillar of the company. We have developed relevant partnerships and a strategic communication action to reach the appropriate audience. And we have succeeded, achieving a 450% increase on book seats since the beginning. Revo offers advanced air mobility and is the pioneer of B2C low altitude economy. Safe, sustainable and faster vehicles. Our vision is to change how people move on big cities. We have, through our diversification ambitions, entered international markets on the promise to create social benefits, train and create white collar jobs for nationals. Pioneering projects like Revo and Omni Unmanned will further our leadership as the low altitude economy continues to grow. Our default approach to any country is to create as many local jobs as possible. So if you think about an aviation operation, it includes all possible jobs, from senior leaders to pilots to engineers to flight coordinators uh, to accountants, rescue swimmer, drivers and, and janitors. Upskilling employees is a business priority. There are several ways for us to do so effectively. First, there are the specialist training programs that we have created. Our search and rescue rear crew training. Um, our pilot training where we send two students to US to learn to fly or our maintenance apprenticeships. Then, of course, there is training on the job, working hand in hand with someone who has years of experience in the uh, um, aviation industry is a great way of acquiring skills. For example, in Guyana, we now have a world class search and rescue team. Some individuals um, have been in the field for over three decades. Um, you can imagine the amount of expertise they are bringing with them. We truly hope that our impact transcends our specific operation and becomes a legacy for the aviation sector in the country. The conflict in the marriage between sustainability and profitability is regular and challenging. Our journey continues and our commitment to doing our part in supporting the environment, safety and innovation is unwavering. It takes rigor, it takes time. It gets solved when you as an organization take a stand, commit to solutions, and come together to work for the benefit of the planet and for the benefit of your stakeholders.